The story is about Sam Fisher. First, he's looking for his daughter's killer. Third Echelon is in that. Third Echelon is a company that Sam Fisher used to work for. Uh, and this is a group of rather sneaky individuals. They're a section of the, the US government that, you know, it is proper, like, behind closed doors. And, you know, people ask about Third Echelon, they're like, I've, I've never heard of them, I don't know what you're saying. The threat that we wanted with this story is a threat that is technology-based. Sam Fisher is forced to investigate that. That investigation will lead him to Washington, where uh, he's going to have to face a much bigger threat. This is bigger than your daughter. This is bigger than both of us. The people behind this, you can't hide from them. Tom Reed is a, an interesting character. Um, he is the new head of Third Echelon. Who's the guy that will dump bodies for the good of the country? This guy steps over the limit. Like, he has no problem with taking out US citizens in order to get the job done. This is John. Panther has been secured. I repeat, we have secured Panther. Affirmative. We have uh, Grimm, uh, who's back in, in, in the game. She was the voice in Sam's ear in all the past Splinter Cells. Now she's chief technical advisor in Third Echelon, one of the main officers for Tom Reed, who's now the head of Third Echelon. She's kind of the former friend, the former uh, helper. Now she's giving him orders, she's asking him to do things that he doesn't want, and Sam doesn't know exactly what to think about her. We have Cost, Victor Cost, who's uh, Sam's best friend. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. Sam and Cost friendship goes back to the Navy SEAL days, I will say 20, 25 years ago. He comes back into the story and kind of saves the day and gives Sam information that's really vital and really key elements to the nucleus of this game. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. In Splinter Cell Conviction, Sam is going to get to fight all kinds of enemies, ranging from your basic thug or henchman who are reckless and will run in without much consideration, all the way up to, you know, uh, your trained elite agents and your Splinter Cells. So you'll be fighting almost against a mirror image of yourself. For the first time, you'll feel what it's like to be one of those NPCs hunted by a Splinter Cell. Someone in the United States won't create chaos 